Okay, I'm just finishing up a quick little production run I had here with some half-inch cold roll. This is first operation on a little project that I produce, or on a little product that I produce, and I thought I'd just show you real quick what's going on with it. This was originally set up to turn the half-inch bushings for the adjustable tool holders that had the half-inch bore on them, and while I'm here with this setup, this is a half-inch piece of both cold roll and stainless is what I've run in this run, and um, the cold roll, of course, will, once the product's completed, will go through the bluing tanks and be finished that way. The stainless steel will be probably um, wet tumbled, and will that'll be the finish on it. But I thought I'd just show you how easy it is to set up once you've got a setup like this. Now, on the adjustable um, tool holder bushings, why they were... A longer piece, I don't remember now, 5 eighths of an inch long, and they had a bevel on each end. They were center pointed on, on one end. So these little bushings are just a simple little half inch piece of cold roll, got a bevel on each end, and they're parted off. Now for this product, they go to a second op where um, it leaves a little nubbin, or there's still a little nubbin after it turns off of here, but that's machined away automatically on the second operation. So it's not a concern. So all I did on this is adjusted the length, basically, and adjusted where the cutoff tool was a little bit. I don't even have to face off the, other, the outer face and center drill it for this uh, particular product. So all I'm doing is using my adjustable length holder, release the collet, go ahead, and advance our stock through, lock our collet again, which is pulling it back just a little bit, but I've taken that amount into account. All I've got to do is release that, then all I'm doing is putting a V-groove in and then parting it off. So we'll just run a couple of them, run a couple of them off through that uh, operation so you can see how quick and easy it is. It really excels for this particular project. Now here's what our piece looks like after it's parted off. This would have been our outward facing end, and that's a perfectly acceptable finish. Now this will get drilled off center, and what I did is I just set up a set of soft jaws in the uh, milling machine. I've got a pocket so this sits down vertically. I've got my offset so I can drill it. Now on the back side we've got a little bit of a nubbin left, and at best we've got this little bit of nubbin. Oh, you know, and then part of them it'll leave this little curl that didn't completely machine off when it parted. Um, I can either break that off or just align that through the through the um, space that we've got left between our two soft jaws, and that nubbin gets machined away when that's drilled through. So that's uh, quick and easy, and um, 
Just thought you'd like to see that little operation. Hopefully you found something interesting there. If you did and haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. If you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. And any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below. And as always, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch.